Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, it is Friday, unbelievably again, the 21st day of February 2014. And obviously there is always a ton of breaking news and information coming out. We have Dr. Jerome Corsi joining us with breaking news from everything from Benghazi to what's happening with the economy. Uh, we launched the new InfoWars website uh, last night, and it is got a lot of bugs in it, obviously. Uh, and we're going to try to run it through the weekend and clean up the bugs, and we're not able to. We'll revert back to the old site uh, next week for folks. But if you like the old design, PrisonPlanet.com is very similar to InfoWars, just different color scheme. So PrisonPlanet.com is there for folks that like uh, the old format. I, I mean, overall, I like the site. It's more responsive, uh, and it'll work better on mobile devices once we've tweaked it. But there are things that we just can't get fixed, like a two-week-old Larry Clayman YouTube interview that's in the featured video area uh, on the right-hand uh, side of all the article pages. You know, there's, there's, there's stuff like that. So, so send uh, your issues and uh, your ideas, because I pointed that out last night, and it's still there. We're just trying to figure out how to get that ghost out of the machine uh, to show tips at InfoWars.com. And uh, like I said, uh, you know, the article page looks better. It's cleaner, more modern. We have an updated InfoWars design in eight years. Now, some things like Drudge, again, around since 95, 96, the web is going to simpler and simpler and cleaner and cleaner. So it's so old that it's now the cutting edge yet again. And, of course, you could go with a design like that. And we've looked at some other designs. If, if, if this doesn't pan out right, we've got some um, that are more like the London Guardian was before they changed it again a few months ago. It's just, it's, the problem is taking your old website and then integrating it in with all of the new information. Because you've got a website around since, you know, 96, like our website. And then all those articles, all that information, you've got to integrate that in with a new design, uh, it, is, it is a kettle of fish. And we have hired a couple different companies and then they've done a great job and then we're just here trying to integrate it in on our end. So uh, we'll be talking about some of that, but the new InfoWars uh, is uh, up today. You can check that out and see it for yourself and you'll see tweaks and changes happening to it uh, throughout the day. But it's, but it's meant to have you know, a more responsive feel and work better on mobiles, even though right now it's uh, working on mobiles, but but uh, probably not the way it should because it blocks out a lot of the info. In fact, we're going to be uh, converting uh, the mobile thing just for now to a static look where it's the full website, and then you just kind of go around and look at what you want to, like the old InfoWars. That's an idea. We can make the mobile the old InfoWars. <laughs> I don't, that sounds complete. Or, or we can upload two versions every day. To where you could have either version of what you want. This is the type of stuff, you know, that we deal with. But bottom line, it's about this radio show. What pulls the entire train? The news, the filmmaking, the news sites, everything. It is this radio show. It is yours truly, El Pumpkinhead. How do you say Pumpkinhead in Spanish? Can we find out how you say that? That'll be my new nickname, El Macho. I got the new Despicable Me. How do you say it? Your mic's on air, right? Uh, you're never to talk to me when I'm talking to you unless it's on air. Uh, that, that is a rule for five years that no one has ever abided by. But here it'll be. Tell, t tell me how you say pumpkin head in Spanish now. Go ahead. I believe it's cabeza de pepian. Pepian is a pumpkin seed, so uh, I, I'm guessing that something similar to well, that. Why do you say pumpkin in Spanish? Uh, that I'm not sure. I think it's something related to pepian. Okay, so you say pumpkin and you say head in Spanish. Cabeza. 
Okay, so pumpkin cabeza. Cabeza de pipion. Uh -huh. The super, how do you say the supreme El Grande <laughs> pumpkin head supreme leader, Alex Jones? We'll, we'll get back to you on that. All right, you'll get back to me on that. Hey, John up there at the network, can you even hear them when they're on that mic? Um, well, then hell just froze over. They actually talked on air. Holy Toledo, it just happened, folks. All right, we'll be uh, right back with all the news, your phone calls, and a lot more straight ahead. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination on. is now in most of the food supply. Really? There's only two ways oh, to avoid this. this. Move south of the mm -hmm. equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. As you know, we have been following the huge purge, especially of nuclear force commanders, top generals, right down to uh, mid-level officers. We've been following this very, very closely the last year. Well, it's accelerating. And Dr. Jerome Corsi is going to be joining us today in the third hour to break that down. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday already, the 21st day of February 2014. I am your host, Alex Jones, as we sit here and chronicle uh, what the globalists are up to and how humanity is beginning to wake up to them. Now, an example of humanity waking up is the fact that last week and then earlier this week, we ran articles on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com 
dealing with the fact that Obama, we also covered this last year, is planning on putting monitors for, quote, bias and to track how you news gather in, quote, all newsrooms. A unprecedented FCC power grab because the FCC is only over broadcast and what's over the broadcast, not the content. And this really is unprecedented tyranny. Well, when DrudgeReport.com and others began to carry it earlier in the week, it is now spilled out into the mainstream media today and yesterday, and there is now a national debate happening. If you go up to PrisonPlanet.com or InfoWars.com, uh, you can see one of the beta tests, one of the new looks for InfoWars we're looking at. doesn't mean it's final, um, but uh, we're, we're, we're tweaking it, but... Uh, there's the new InfoWars look for now. Get, give us your feedback on it, folks, in the comment pages, show tips at InfoWars.com. You will see the article, Judge Napolitano, Government Monitoring Newsrooms, Radical New Era of Tyranny. Judge Andrew Napolitano warns the Obama administration plan to have FCC bureaucrats monitor newsroom represents a radical new era of tyranny and would squash freedom of the press. Uh, yes, it is a radical new era of tyranny. As Ted Cruz has said, uh, Obama is frightening and dangerous. As I've said, he is trying to become a dictator 2.0 for the bureaucracy and the special interest. Set the precedent that a president can do whatever he wants. Uh, this is a real issue. And people say, oh, don't be so radical. When you're faced with radical government, when you're faced with radical extremist behavior, that's what it is. And so many times in history, I know I beat this dead horse. So many times in history, over and over again, people are faced with a Lenin, a Stalin, a Hitler, a Mao, a Napoleon, a Pol Pot, a Fidel Castro, and they just don't want to admit that, oh, they're having tyranny in their time. They don't want to admit that, and so they basically fall to it. Because, oh, this couldn't be happening to me. Rick Linkletter, the director, a good friend of mine, like 15 years ago when I first met him, in my first meeting with him, he was a listener to my radio show and he wanted to meet me, so I went down to his studios. And I went there for like an hour and a half meeting with him in his office. It was almost like being in a psychologist's office or something, and he was just intensely talking to me. And he said, you know, the problem is people expect a dictator to show up like Hitler in a funny little suit and a funny little mustache each generation doesn't recognize how the tyranny shows up in their time. And, and, and of course, that was that's simple for me to know today, but it was fundamental. Then I was like, oh, I guess, I guess you're right. And he was explaining to me why people didn't understand it. And he was saying you have to connect what happened in the past visually and, and, and audibly and semantically to what's happening now. Because he goes, I know you're a smart guy and mean well and you're young. And I was like 20 five years old then, 40 now. Uh, but now here we are all these years later and it's just all out in the open in our face. But this is a big deal, what we see unfolding on every front and we've got to respond to it properly. If we don't run around and get upset about it, no one else around us will think there's a problem. And, and, and I'm not saying put on an act. I don't get up here and yell and scream on air as an act. Sometimes I dress up like Cobra Commander or the Joker to do a skit, and then that's an act. But it's what I believe. I'm using satire to illustrate something I believe in my heart to try to wake people up. Do you see what I'm saying? But organically, the reason I've been somewhat successful, wildly successful on many fronts waking people up, in fact, if you talk to most new libertarians or people that are aware of the New World Order now, anywhere in the world, they'll say Alex Jones. Alex Jones, nine times out of ten. Alex Jones got me to think first. And it's not because I'm that eloquent or I'm that good of a guy, but I did it at an organic, primitive level. Get upset, have high energy, and yell and scream and, and hyperventilate and beat the table because I'm desperate and I'm frustrated. And that's what will get your fellow man moving. I mean, if you go to Hollywood renditions of things like 300 that has a lot of fiction in it, but a lot of historical truth in it as well, you've got a rousing speech there about we've got to be ready to die for our republic. 
and have the glory of being real men here today. Are you with me?